Hey guys, I'm Floyd from ChargeLife.com. Let me ask you a question. If going to travel abroad, what kind of charging gear is it to prepare? You need a gold adapter like this, a phone charger, and a laptop charger if you carry a laptop. This is a mess when you want to travel simple and light. So is there a solution to combine them all? The answer is yes. In front of me is an engineering sample of Zandua. This is a brand known for its rugged power banks, like these. Recently, they launched a Kickstarter campaign for their brand new product, the Passport Go Again. So let's take our exclusive first look. As we can see, the Passport Go Again features Zandua's signature design with all round ridges, like a durable luggage. There are four buttons on the side, you simply push and slide to reveal the plug. So we have European plug, USA plug, the Australian plug, and the UK plug. On the opposite side is a universal socket. There's nothing on the top. And there is a USB Type-C and three USB Type-A on the bottom. Actually, we have seen similar products like this on Amazon, which combines a travel adapter with a USB charger. So what's special about the Passport Go Again? First, this has an auto-resetting fuse inside. That means you don't have to replace the fuse when the adapter stops working, like you have to with a normal global travel adapter. Instead, you just wait a few seconds for the fuse to get back to work. Second, the USB Type-C port of the Passport Go Again is no ordinary USB-C port. It supports USB PD fast charging with up to 20 volt, 1.5 amp, 30 watt of charging power. So you can charge your laptop as no other competitors do. So how does Zendu fit a 30 watt charge inside such a limited space? As we can tell from its name, the Zenduo Passport Go GAN uses GAN technology, or gallium nitride, which is a new type of semiconductor material that offers higher efficiency, higher temperature resistance, and other advantages than traditional silicon. When it comes to charging, GAN can greatly reduce the size of a charger. For example, this is a 30 watt GAN charger by Anker. And this is a 30 watt normal charger from Apple. The size difference is tremendous. So with GAN, Zendo engineers can shrink the size of the charging components and fit it inside the limited space down at the bottom. Now, let's put the Passport Go GAN into our real world testing. As we can see, the Passport Go GAN is charging the iPhone XS Max at 9.3 volt, 2.0 amp, around 20 watt of charging power, and is charging the iPad Pro at 15 watt, 1.3 amp, around 20 watt, and is charging the MacBook Pro at 20 watt, 1.1 amp, around 20 watt. Its USB A port can charge the iPhone XS Max at 5 volt, 2 amp, at 10 watt of charging. It's charging the Mate 20 Pro at 5 volt, 1.2 amp around 6 watt of charging. As we can see, the Passport Go GAN can charge 4 devices at the same time. I'm very impressed by the Passport Go GAN as I'm doing. It is compact, light, and robust. It has all the resetting fuse. You can charge all your gadgets, including phones, tablets, and laptops. The retail price is 59 US dollars, which is a little on the high side. But if you're a seasoned traveler who wants to simplify the deals, I think this is the perfect solution. The good news is that you can grab a passport code again at kickstarter.com for just 39 bucks, which to me seems like a no brainer. So that's it. Please give us a thumbs up, tell us your thoughts, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos coming soon. Cheers.